Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue semi-circle inscribed in a quarter circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is 18 units. And moreover, the center of this uh, semi-circle is P, whereas the center for this quarter circle is O. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's uh, assume that the radius uh, of this uh, blue semicircle is uh, lowercase uh, r. And now let's go ahead and connect these point of tangency A and B to this center P. And moreover, let's go ahead and connect these centers O and P as well, as you can see in this next diagram. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram. So no wonder in our case uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, square OAPB. So therefore these two opposite sides are going to be equal. If this side length is lowercase r, then this side is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle OAP. And we know that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find uh, the length uh, OP. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is r. So this is going to become r square plus r square equal to c square. So therefore c square equal to 2r square. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square roots uh, on uh, both uh, sides. On the left hand side uh, this uh, square and square root is gone. So c turns out to be equal to r times uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore our this distance uh, op turns out to be r times uh, square root of uh, 2. And in this uh, next step, I have connected this center O with these uh, points uh, C and uh, D. And as a result, we got this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, COD. As we can see that this uh, OC and OD are the radii of this uh, quarter circle. So that means this radius uh, OC is 18 and this uh, radius uh, OD is 18 as well and moreover we can see that this uh, CP is the radius R for this uh, blue semicircle and likewise this uh, PD is uh, lowercase r as well. So therefore we can see that this uh, OP is the median of this uh, CD. So therefore this angle is going to be 90 degrees since this side length uh, equal to this side length. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, OPD and we know that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find the value of uh, radius r. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg at our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. 
a in our case is r so this is going to become r square plus b in our case is r times square root of 2 whole square and c in our case is 18 whole square now let's go ahead and simplify so we got r square plus this is going to give us r square times this square and square root undo each other so we're going to get 2 r square equal to 18 square is simply 324 so that is going to give us on the left hand side 3 r square equals to 324 let's divide both sides by 3 so therefore our r square value is going to be 108 and now let's go ahead and take the square root uh, on uh, both sides this square and square root is uh, gone so therefore r turns out to be equal to and on the right hand side as far as this uh, square root of 108 is concerned i simplified this one over here and it turns out to be 6 times uh, square root of 3 so therefore our radius r turns out to be 6 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore we figured out the radius of this uh, blue semicircle as uh, 6 uh, times uh, square root of 3 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded semicircle now and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square in our case uh, our radius r is uh, 6 times uh, square root of 3 units so the area of this uh, blue semicircle is going to be a equal to pi times uh, radius r in our case is 6 uh, times uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square divided by 2 since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle and we know that the square of 6 times square root of 3 is uh, simply 108 so therefore this could be written as uh, 108 pi divided by 2 if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 54 pi so thus the area of this uh, blue shaded semicircle turns out to be 54 pi square units and that turns out to be approximately equal to 169.65 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye